Okay, so my previous linear programming problems were pretty simple where the problem was already formulated and it wasn't presented in a problem form. So this time we're going to do a little bit more complicated problem that we have to we have to do the formulating formulation ourselves. And uh, I'm going to put a little plug out for this little book here since I got this problem from the, this book. This is a very good book on operations management. It's written by William J. Stevenson. Um, this happens to be the 13th edition. I'm getting this from chapter 19, problem 14. Uh, and it's the 13th edition of Operations Management by William Stevenson. And uh, basically, when I teach operations management, I'm not going to choose another book. I like this book that much. It's a very good book for reference. If, uh, you know, you want a reference book on operations management, you operations managers out there, um, really good reference book. Um, this is the ISBN number for the 13th edition. You can get older editions, like the 12th edition and the 11th edition, are just as good, and you can get them on Amazon or somewhere used for pretty cheap since the 13th edition is out now. So anyway, so this is a problem. Let's just go ahead and read the problem. A chocolate maker is contacted to operate a small candy counter in a fashionable store. To start with, a selection of offerings will be intentionally limited. The counter will offer a regular mix of candy made up of equal parts of cashews, raisins, caramels and chocolates. So these are the different ingredients that this factory has. A deluxe mix is going to be half cashews and half chocolates. Okay, they, All these mixes are going to be sold in one pound boxes. In addition, the candy counter will offer individual one pound boxes of each one of these ingredients. The major attraction is that all candies are made fresh at the counter, however storage space is limited. So you're only limited to this space per day. And these they have bins for these. And in order to present a good image and encourage current purchases, the counter will have at least 20 boxes of each type. So these are the different types. Again, regular, deluxe, and then pure cashews, raisin, caramel, and chocolates. And this shows a profit. And it says here we want to formulate an LP model and solve for the optimal decision variables. Okay. So so this is not where we're just given a problem. Now we have to formulate our own problem. So normally you're going to form your own problem, you want to declare your variables. So we'll say declare variables. So what I'm saying is we want to uh, we want to what are we solving for? Well, if you look at this problem, these are these are one pound boxes, right? And we want to know how many we're going to make of each one of these. It says you need to make 20 of each type. But we want to know how many we're going to make in order to maximize profit. So, and this is the profit in each box. Okay. So our variables are going to be the number of boxes of each one of these. So we could say number, number, number of boxes of, and we can put, uh, Regular and deluxe and cashews raisins car caramels and chocolate. And let's just call these uh, X1, X2, and so on. So we have six variables, right? So there's six different. So this is this. I spelled this wrong. Number of boxes. Okay. So we're going to call X1 the number of boxes of regular, X2 the number of boxes of deluxe, and so on. All right. So. Um, so the first thing we want to do is maybe do the, the profit equation in here. And the profit equation, we, 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 uh, we could say profit is going to be equal to 0.8 times the number of boxes of regular plus 0.9 times the regular number of boxes of cashews plus 0.7 and so on. Okay, and if you really wanted to, you could say these are, just to understand, this is dollars, right? 
So we want to maximize this, of course. So this is my objective function. That's what we call the objective function. So, uh, so that's my objective function. I want to maximize profit. So each one of these, remember the way I, the way I formulate this, so you can just assume the x1 is back behind each one of these. So points, remember this is the number of boxes of each. So 0 0.8 times x1 plus 0 0.2, 0 0.9 times x3 and so on. So we're going to solve for the number of boxes and then those are going to plug into that and that's going to give me how much profit I make. So now we have to put in some of this other information. So, um, so we know our capacity, we have some constraints. So we have constraints on capacity and we have, uh, and here's the four things. So I'm going to show you a little trick. I, I'm going to take these. I'm going to right click and go copy and go here and I'm going to paste it transpose so I don't have to retype them. Okay, so those are my constraints. And uh, my constraints, we know that we have to be uh, less than or equal to, on each one of these constraints, we have to be less than or equal to 120, 200, 100, and 160. Because right, that's the most pounds we can make. And these are one pound boxes. And uh, uh, so when we're making cash, so where are we going to be making cashews? Well, if we make pure cashews, well, it's going to be, and we make one box of pure cashews, it's going to be one pound. This is a one pound box. Okay, now I don't want this to be dollars anymore. So I'm going to format all this uh, as numbers. Okay, in fact, let's take it to numbers and take it down to zero places. All right, so one, one, one pound, one pound is going to be used for every box. So it's going to be one times x, one times the number of boxes. Okay. Now, is there anywhere else where we, where we use cashews? <coughs> if we're making the deluxe mix. <coughs> that says, <coughs> excuse me, if we're making the deluxe mix. It's going to be one half cashews and one half chocolates. So the deluxe is going to be I'm going to use a half a box. That's all. Okay, so I need to. I'm sorry. I need to put this. Not to. We'll put a half. A, I'm going to put it to one decimal place. And a half and a half a pound of chocolates is going to be the deluxe. So I'd also use that. And the regular box is the equal part of all four. So it's going to be a quarter of a pound. In each. So now you see I have to take this to two places. I guess you should have practiced this problem before. Okay. So now the raisin mix, again, the raisin is going to be made by itself also on a box of raisin, which is going to be one. And then caramel is going to, pure caramel is going to be one. And pure chocolate is going to be one. Okay. So you can look at this vertically and that shows each type of box and what you're going to have in each. So regular is going to take equal amount of each. Deluxe is going to take half and half of this. And caramel raisin chocolate is going to be one pound exactly in each. All right. So, so we have those constraints out of the way. Now the other constraints, I'm going to go ahead and put them in here. Um, we have all these boxes. Well, let's do it. Uh, um, Let's do it this way. I'm going to paste this transpose again. We know that uh, all these have to be, you know what, I'm going to do this constraint different. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to even put that constraint in here. All right, I'm going to do it a quicker way. So we're going to take care of this. Um, make at least 20 boxes of each in a different way. So we have our problem basically formatted formatted here. Um, and so now what we can do, um, we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and uh, solve this. So I want to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this right here, these, these four, I'm gonna copy them down and, and then I'm gonna copy all this down just for reference. I'm going to put it over here to the right, leave a column here. And then we're going to take, now I'm going to take these. I guess what I could do, I'm going to take all of these. 
on a piece of transpose. So this is a number of boxes, remember. Okay, and we're gonna have some answers here. So let's just guess. I'm just gonna say, we gotta have at least 20. So I'm just gonna start with 20. And let's just start with 24. I'm gonna just make a, a wild guess. We're gonna have Excel eventually solve this for us, okay? So, uh, so that's, we're just gonna set it up with a guess here. You can see boxes. Okay. Um, so now let's go ahead. We're going to set this up. So I'm going to highlight this. And now we're going to use a matrix formula to make this very easy. So I'm going to go equals M multiply. And we're going to multiply uh, all of this. Okay. And what are we going to multiply that times? I'm going to multiply times all of these. So I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, a 5 by 6 matrix times a 6 by 1. So I'm going to end up with a 5 by 1 matrix. Okay. So that's basically what we're doing. And then remember, uh, we're going to hit Control, Shift, Enter, not Enter. So you're going to hit Control, Shift, and Enter. And that gives me an error. Now, why did that give me an error? Because I don't have zeros in here. And Excel doesn't understand that if there's nothing there, that doesn't mean zero to Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and put zeros in all these that didn't have anything in. And then I get an answer. Okay. So there's my answer. Now, as I change these, if I change these at all 20 or all two or whatever, I'm just change them all to two, then I'm going to get a different answer. So what I want to do is I want to make Excel change these. Now this profit, I'm going to go ahead and format that as dollars. And then these are number of boxes, right? So, uh, so, uh, so I'm going to change these and in turn, that's going to change this. And we want to maximize this and we want to keep these constraints in mind. All right. So we can use solver to do this. Solver is a very strong function on Excel. And we can use solver to solve this problem now. So I'm going to go to data and go to solver. And remember, if you don't have solver, I'm going to do this real quick. You go to file. I'm going to do it quick. If Excel lets me do it quick, you go to file, options, and add-ins. Click on add-ins right here. And then you're going to go under here. You're going to go go and make, solver, make sure solver is checked and go OK. And that will show up up here. So I'm going to assume you have that in there now. So I'm going to go, go to Solver. And we're going to set this as my objective. So I'm going to set this. And what does it say? What do we want to do with profit? We want to maximize it. And we want to change these cells right here. Okay. So now we've got to add some constraints. So I'm going to add a constraint. I'm going to say the, the, the number of boxes of cashews has to, has to be, the number of pounds of cashews we actually use it has to be less than or equal to 120. I'm going to add another constraint. I'm going to say the number of pounds of raisins we use has to be less than or equal to 200. I'm going to add another one. The number of pounds of caramels has to be less than or equal to 100. I'm going to add a final one. The number of pounds of chocolates has to be less than or equal to 160. And I'm going to go OK. So now the only other thing we haven't taken care of in this problem is we have to make at least 20 boxes of each type. We can do, we can, we can put that constraint down here. I can say all of these. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go add another constraint. I'm going to say all of these have to be greater than or equal to 20. So I'm going to type in 20. And I go OK. So now I have that constraint. Those who want to solve it, there should be at least 20 boxes of each of those. So I'm going to make this, make it, we can leave this on non negative because we don't want to make a negative number of boxes. And we're going to change this to simplex. Now when I hit solve, all these numbers are going to change. So I hit solve, and this all changes, and I go OK. You can see that I made at least 20 boxes, a couple boxes. I just made, I only made 20 exactly. And my profit, so that's my answer. Here's my profit. And the number of boxes of each type is right here. So 
So that's what this store should do in order to maximize their profit. Okay, they have at least 20 of each. And uh, it kind of makes sense that uh, you're going to make a lot of, it kind of it's kind of doesn't make sense because here it says you make the most money from deluxe. When we solve it, we we'll only make 40, 40 uh, boxes of deluxe. So, um, so sometimes what you think is not going to be a correct answer here. So anyway, hopefully that helped. I know this is kind of a long video, but it's a complicated problem. Uh, let me go ahead and put this formula in here for this so you can see it. Let me pull the uh, formula text. Click on one of these. So remember, um, you got to you can't type these brackets in. You got to hit uh, Control and Shift and Enter after you type this formula. So you got to highlight all five of these. Start typing equals m multiply whatever is inside the curly brackets, and hit Control Shift Enter, and that, that that puts it in there for you. Okay, so um, if you like this video, please hit like. Down below, it should say subscribe. I'm also going to put my picture up here. If you click on that, that will subscribe you to my channel. Um, please subscribe if you if you if you could, because uh, previously I never asked people to subscribe when I made these videos, and since I didn't, this is recently. Google quit paying me for making these videos because I didn't have a thousand subscriptions. If I would have known in advance, I would have been asking people to subscribe. So either hit subscribe below or hit my picture. Like it if you like my videos. I'll, I'll try to go ahead and put a copy of this, uh, a link to this Excel problem into uh, the description too. So anyway, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.